Hi guys, it's Twilight Princess 686 and I'll be showing you uh, how to hold your ocarina. Um, so, a lot of people have some confusion with this because the ocarina to someone who has never really seen one before or played it, it just kind of looks like a, a funny shape with a lot of holes in the top. And so it can be a little bit confusing to figure out how to hold it. Now this doesn't take much practice because once you know how to hold it, it's pretty self-explanatory. So I start with the two thumb holes, and it's reversed because this is a camera, but um, get the strap out of the way. But uh, right hand goes on the right thumb hole, and your hand comes forward over the bottom set of uh, holes on the ocarina, or the ones closest to the right side of the ocarina when you're looking at it face on. Um, and then your left hand, some people kind of think it's like that, but uh, your left hand, right hand comes underneath, left hand comes from over, or you can remember it, right hand comes towards the ocarina, and left hand comes from the other side. And your thumbs will um, be on the thumb holes. Right thumb hole, left thumb hole. And um, some ocarinas are 10 holes, but ones like this are 12 holes, where they have these two little um, holes right there and right there. They're called sub holes, and um, basically they lower the pitch in the, to allow a 10 hole ocarina to become a 12 hole and therefore have a larger range of notes. But um, if you have a 10 hole ocarina, the holding method is the same. Um, so there's not much of a difference, but, uh, they lower the pitch. And if you want to, um, play with those, you just slide your fingers forward and back. And the one thing that also is a problem for some people is, uh, once you've gotten to the higher notes, you know, you're playing a song, and then you get to the higher note, and you don't have enough fingers left on the ocarina to support it the right way. Now, um, the first solution is to always put the neck strap around your neck, and I'm setting a very bad example here. But by putting the neck strap around your neck, you can just kind of let it float, and um, it'll be safe. If you don't have a neck strap, what I do is once you get to the higher notes, where you know, you've only got one, two, three fingers on it, the fingers that are lifted, you can kind of position them so that uh, they support the ocarina's weight while you they're not actually covering any holes so that they don't change or alter your playing. Um, for the highest note, I actually kind of slide my thumbs, just I, instead of holding them over the thumb holes, I kind of slide them away. And um, that way they're still there, so if I do need to put my fingers back on the thumb holes to play a note, they're available, but they also support the ocarina when I don't need them. Um, and they don't get in the way of my playing. So it's just a short video sh uh, showing you how to properly hold your ocarina. And uh, that's all for today.